In this video, I will show you how to make this loading animation in Blender using geometry nodes. As always, it is going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by going into the geometry nodes workspace, and then let's set up a new node group, and then delete the group input, which is the cube, so X to delete. And then we're going to start off with a circle, so press Shift A, and then add the mesh circle connected to geometry, and then we're going to use this circle to generate the spheres. So something like this, and then press Shift A, and then we can add the sphere, and then press Shift A again, and then next we need to add the instance on points, so that we can add the spheres to the circle. Next we can increase the number of subdivisions for the icospheres to make them smoother, and then also decrease the scale. And then we can save before we continue. So give it a name and you can save it where you want on the computer. And then next, you want to control the size of the individual spheres. So uh, let's add an empty. And then next, we need to select the spheres again and then search for object info. And then we'll use the empty to control the size of the spheres. And then next, we need to add another node, which is the mesh line node. And then connect location to a start location so that the location of the empty controls the size. And then we also need to add the geometry proximity node to make it all work. So connect mesh to target. And then next, we need to add a map range node, which uh, constrains the degree to which the empty controls the size of the spheres and so on. And then connect result to scale. And then in the geometry proximity node, we need to set it to points. And when you select the empty and grab it by pressing G, you can see that we now influence the uh, scale of the uh, spheres. Let's press Control shift s and create a new save in case something crashes. And then I'm going to limit the scale of the spheres in the map range node. Next, we're going to move the empty to the edge of the circle. So press number 7 for top view and then G to grab. And then I'm going to scale down the spheres a bit. So decrease the minimum value. You can just play around with the different values until you like the result. So I think I'm going to set it around here. Then press Control Shift S to save again. And then we need to add another empty to control the other empty. Press Shift A and let's add a cube empty for example. Press S to scale it down, then hold in Shift and then select the second empty. And then Control P to set it parent to the second empty. And then press R, then set to rotate the empty. Okay, so now we can keyframe this so that we get an animation. So press N so that we get the side panel. And then let's go into the layout workspace. Press N and then press I to keyframe the rotation. And now let's expand it to 500 frames. Go to the last frame and then let's rotate the uh, empty a, a few rounds and then press I to keyframe and then press T in the timeline and make the animation linear. Okay, so now we have the loading animation and the next step is to set up the camera. I'm just going to save one more time and then press numpad 7 for top view and then press Control alt numpad 0 for camera to the current point of view and then we need to go into view and then camera to view. Go a little bit backwards. And then next we can go into the render settings. I'm going to use cycles and the GPU. If you only have a CPU, you can just use the CPU instead. And then make the background transparent. And then I'm going to um, add a background image to improve the lighting. 
So go to the world settings, environment texture, open, and then you can just download a free HDRI, which you can find in the description. And then next, I'm going to go into the uh, geometry nodes workspace and then select the spheres. And then we need to add a material to the uh, setup. So uh, go to set material. Then I'm going to connect it to the icosphere. Select a material. And then I'm just going to give it a uh, simple glossy shader. So I'll go into the material. If we just add it to the uh, geometry node setup. And then a simple glossy material. So something like this, you can add whatever color or material you want to. As you can see, we now have the loading animation. Next, we can go into the output settings. And I'm going to set the resolution to 4K, which is 200%. If you want 1080p, you can just leave it at 100%. And I like to keep it at 60 frames per second, at least for this animation and then select a folder for the final animation. I'm going to render this out as PNGs and then you can convert them to an MP4 file later. I have a tutorial on that on my channel. And then you can just play around with the material if you want to before we start the final render. And then I'm going to save one more time, go back to solid view, then go to render and then render animation.